Welcome back to another game guide for Atomic Heart. Today I want to make a video that goes over the lock picking. It's a, a bit of a tricky mechanic to get your head around and it's ne definitely not the most uh, intuitive one to start with. Um, generally speaking I don't think it's one of my favourite uh, lock picking mechanics I've ever seen in the game so I think a video is a good idea to start with. So anyway, what you're going to see is sort of valve looking things pop out of the lock and the series of red lights will display on each of those valves. When you press X or whatever button it is on your platform, the little valve will go down. And what you'll also notice is the direction of the red lights will go the other way. So it's going clockwise now, click it and it goes the other way around. So I had initially thought that these were just bouncing randomly, but they're not. They are going in, um, let me start this again now. They are going in a uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, direction. So that does make it a lot easier once you know that to actually predict where the red light's going to come next. Because it, it just because there's not every valve active, it seems like there's less, um, less of a pattern to the direction that the lights are going. So when you know that, it's quite easy just to... Because you know where the lights are going to come. And we have another one here. So this is actually a different type of lock. Now these ones are also uh, kind of confusing to start with, but they're not all that bad. I think I would prefer these to the other type of lock. So what you've got to do is you've got to line up the three dots with uh, the matching color. So there's two red ones there and a yellow one. So you've got to split these up by waiting until they're grouped a certain way. So we need to know we have two perfect space here. So what we really got to do now is... I'm not sure if I can position them in the way that I want to position them though. Um yeah. And I think that should be it. And there you go. Now I ended it a bit soon, so you might have to pause go back and pause that video just if you wanted to get a final look over how the positions line up in the end. Before I end up getting my ass handed to me here. Anyway, got too distracted now. This is anyway how you do the lock picking. So we got two different locks. There is a couple of other types of locks. There's one that has like a load of little dots, but none of them that are relevant in this uh, kind of gameplay style. But anyway, hopefully that helps you work your way around at least two of the different types of locks that you could pick in this game. I'll talk to you later.